Hey, I'm Courtney, Courtney Hayward Whip, and I'm a horticulturist based here in Crookwell, and you're in my garden. Um, today I was going to talk to you about pests and disease in the garden, uh, but thank you for joining us for a new take on the Crookwell Garden Festival this year. Given that it's been such an unusual year for everybody, um, it's really, we're very fortunate to be able to share in such a beautiful spring on the Southern Tablelands via the virtual garden tours. Um, after a prolonged period of dryness, we enjoyed autumn, winter and spring damp conditions, which has meant the growth has been prolific. Um, but with that too comes the risk of increased pest and disease presence. So the stormy and humid conditions we've been seeing this spring uh, increase the presence of fungal disease, particularly leaf curl this season on the stone fruit. So both peaches and nectarines can be affected by leaf curl and it appears as these raised blisters and deformed leaves. And sometimes in, when they're exposed to more sunshine, they'll have a pinkish tinge to them as well. Unfortunately for the home gardener, by this late stage, there isn't a lot we can do about the leaf curl. Um, the leaves need to be picked off and removed and either burnt or disposed of in the bin. So if you miss the opportunity to spray your trees with a good clean up spray of copper oxychloride or lime sulfur, after your heavy winter prune, you might be seeing an increased presence of this problem on your peaches and nectarines. So the prevention, there is a preventative spray, but yes, it needs to be carried out in winter prior to bud burst. There is no control otherwise, other than picking off the leaves, unfortunately. Another fungal disease that you'll notice in this good season is black spot on roses so the damp and humid conditions again favor the spread of this disease um, in the first instance you'll see leaves at the base of roses are affected the older foliage and the black spot appears as a, a dot on the top surface of the leaf and then the leaves become yellow and will defoliate prematurely. So to avoid black spot on your roses, um, you would spray a preventative cleanup spray at winter after pruning, either lime sulfur or copper. And during the season, um, if you miss that and you're noticing a bit of this happening, then you can buy a ready to use trigger pack, which has a fungicide in it called triferine and it attacks both black spot and powdery mildew which you find on the tips, new growing tips of roses. Another great prevention for black spot on roses is to avoid overcrowding in the center of the rose bush. So giving it a heavy haircut in winter, removing any cross limbs, avoid planting at the base of the rose too many ground covers at the base will create humid conditions and favorable situations for the fungal disease. Um, you want to improve the airflow through the plant. Also concentrate your irrigation at the base of the plant. There's no need to wet the foliage and ideally you would water in the morning so there's an opportunity for leaves to dry out during the day. Aphids are also prevalent this time of year on new growth tips of both roses and peaches and nectarines. Here you can see on roses the populations tend to be near the flower bud and just below. And early damage, because they're a sap sucking insect, has been caused on the leaf, um, causing again blisters and deformation of the leaf. Um, these can be blasted with the jet setting on your hose just to rid the aphids um, or you can spray them with the rose gun 
uh, the trigger pack that's ready to use it has a gentle insecticide called pyrethrum inside which kills out these things but do be mindful of the bees so as with most pests and diseases on plants, a healthy plant is in a much better position to be able to fend off minor infestations um, in order to get your plants healthy. It's a good idea to apply a seaweed solution up to fortnightly if things are looking a little bit tired um, and it's also very important to keep compost up to the garden so if you can mulch with or dig that through that really works towards improving the soil condition and creating good microbes, encouraging um, a good biodiverse environment in the soil um, to improve the overall health of your plants. Um, so when this happens, we then create a better environment too for predatory insects. So the balance is kept in check and you won't have as many disease outbreaks and or pest problems. Woolly aphid is the last pest I'll talk about today and it tends to be apparent on palm fruit trees and crab apples and sometimes roses. Um, it'll appear as a fluffy white growth on tree trunks, stems, twigs and coarse bark towards the base of the plant um, and it's a particularly tricky pest to get rid of. It has a waxy outer coating. So many of the natural products and insecticides are ineffective. Neem oil can be used and persistent populations can be knocked by the application of this product. Um, and susceptible trees tend to show signs early each season. So again, um, practice your due diligence, daily checks, can help disease infestations and pest outbreaks. Um, so in such a good season, we really do need to keep a very close eye on the garden. Um, but now that you have your pest and disease under control in the garden, you can relax and enjoy the virtual garden tours. And we look forward to seeing you next year in the gardens. Thank you.